next on the TV6 News at noon, an outpouring of support for a Milwaukee family. We told you about their plight last night. Now, how you can help this family of eight cope with poverty. Also ahead, forget Atlantic City or Las Vegas. Casino gambling comes to the Midwest. We'll tell you where to place your bets. And taking out the trash in Brookfield will never be the same. We'll have it next on the TV6 News at noon. A friend you can count on in Milwaukee. This is the TV6 News at noon. Good afternoon, everyone. Milwaukee is showing its generosity today. Dozens of people are coming forward to help a poverty-stricken family that we told you about in our news last night. Myra Sanchuk is here with more. Myra? Joanne, last night I talked to a woman with seven children. She's trying to turn her life around, but even with welfare payments, she's living below the poverty level. Teresa Pierce has little furniture and not enough food or clothes for seven growing children. It's a story that her outreach worker called us about. She says it's a story, it's not uncommon, but it is one of the saddest situations she's seen. I talked to the children about it, what it's like. What do you do when you get hungry? I get mad. And when I get mad, sometimes, sometimes I go to bed. Mm -hmm. Why do you get mad? Because there don't be nothing to eat. <laughs> Who are you mad at? Nobody but myself. Since we ran that story, we've had numerous calls throughout the morning from people with everything from food to furniture they wish to donate. And the calls come from people who just don't want to see children go hungry like that for any reason. This afternoon, we'll revisit Teresa Pierce and see how the community support is helping one poor family in Milwaukee. And I'll have an update on that on our 5 and 6 o'clock news. And what about people who may be watching who want to help? To tell you the truth, we've just had such an outpouring of donations that I think she's all taken care of, and it's really overwhelming. Mm, thanks, Mayor. Mm -hmm. Well, our money doesn't go as far as it used to. Milwaukee, Kenosha, and Ozaki counties are charging you an extra half percent in sales tax today. Dane County included as well. Twelve counties statewide charging that new tax today. That's in addition to the 5% sales tax we already pay. Milwaukee County officials say money raised by the new tax will be used to lower property taxes. Three million Americans get a raise today. The federal minimum wage climbs to $4.25 an hour. That's a 45 cent raise, but critics say it's not enough. The chief economist of the AFL-CIO says the new raise is still well below what is needed to keep many worries, I should say many workers, out of poverty. Iowa takes a unique approach to raising money starting today. It's state-sponsored riverboat gambling on the Mississippi. The first bets were placed early this morning along the Iowa-Illinois border. CBS News correspondent Ron Allen has more on the hopes for big payoffs on the plains. <laughs> It's hail to the chief for a president rolling down the Mississippi River, ushering casinos to the nation's heartland, as Iowa, that's right, Iowa, launches a bid to become the nation's mecca for riverboat gambling. I can't wait to opening day, April 1st, when the general public can really come and see this magnificent ship. It's a masterpiece. There isn't anything like it in the country, anywhere. Not now. But a century ago, luxurious riverboats cruised the Mississippi in style, with gamblers betting at poker or roulette. Today, a fleet of three floating casinos will return, with opulent facelifts designed to capture the past, as well as millions of dollars for Iowa's treasury. We are going to have a major destination attraction in the tour and travel industry, a major one. I don't know how successful they're going to get, uh, how successful they're going to be in getting people to go to Iowa in the middle of winter to play $5 blackjack. Round and round and round she goes. But Iowa's neighbors, Illinois and Mississippi, are making the same bet. Voters have approved plans for floating casinos there as well. Iowa hopes to hit the jackpot first along the Mississippi Strip. And adding riverboat casinos in a state where you can already wager at the track or play the lottery means gamblers in Davenport, Iowa, will have more games to bet on than gamblers in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ron Allen, CBS News, Los Angeles. And Citibank is trying to take some of the gambling out of shopping. The company says it will pay the difference if one of its customers buys a product and then finds it cheaper someplace else. 
The service is free to all Citibank cardholders, and Citibank issues more credit cards than any other company in the world. In its effort to save money, the U.S. government shut down an Air Force base this morning. New Hampshire's Pease Air Force Base is the first of 86 to field a budget axe. Pease housed 3,700 military personnel and dependents, and 1,000 civilians worked there. With the economy sagging, the closure couldn't come at a worse time. It is a double whammy. Uh, the economy is severely injured right now, and at the same time, uh, the closure of this base costs this community, this region, about a million dollars a day. The New Hampshire base is under control of a local development authority, which will try to find civilian uses for the giant military base. In news from the Gulf this noon, Kurdish forces, Kurdish rebels, are reportedly on the run in northern Iraq. Government troops appear triumphant in the streets of Kirkuk. They've chased the rebels out of the northern Iraqi city and have it under control. Some Kurdish rebels say they're retreating for now, but they claim they will live to fight another day. Other rebels say the mass exodus is destroying morale. Communists are winning an historic election in Albania. This weekend, the people of the Eastern European countries voted in their first free elections in 60 years. Early results indicate they voted to keep the communists in power. But despite the apparent outcome, Democratic Party leaders predict the communists' downfall within two months. Bowl cleaners, the heavyweight with a powerful angle on cleaning.